hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hello hi and welcome to the family if you haven't subscribed into my youtube channel i'm not sure what you're really waiting for but please do hit the subscribe button down below to get notified every single time when i post a video so today i'm going to be sharing how i managed to cope with the fact that i was heavily pregnant and going through postpartum now and having to finish my degree at the same time so i feel like there's a lot of girls who do end up putting themselves in this kind of a situation and i'm here just to simply cheer you up making sure that you do understand that it is possible it is doable you're gonna get through this situation so if you haven't put yourself in this kind of a situation please make sure that you do the right thing you know the right thing honey i doubt that you do because wow it is very very hard to cope with being pregnant and having to study so i just want to get to the main so i just want to get to the main point of this video right now so i've been in a great great relationship with my boyfriend over the past years and and we actually planned to have our first kid after i'm working after i feel like okay i am ready but everything happened differently when i actually did not um take my injections in time which is depovera so i actually found out that i am pregnant in january of 2021 and in january of 2021 and that was supposed to be my third year which was my final year in varsity so me finding out you know i was so sad um i was in so much of shock because it's not really what i wanted at the moment i wanted to like complete my degree and continue with my life so we knew that you know it was a very destructful situation somehow but somehow we, we were happy and we tried our best to actually cope with the situation so um at first semester okay so i'm currently studying a bsc in construction studies at nelson mandela university which is a very very hard bsc like any other bsc it is hard i mean any other course at university it is hard i'm sure you'll know that okay so um at first semester i had so much of modules between nine or ten but it was a it was really 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 a lot of modules and i even exceeded my credits i had to ask my lecturer to actually add some modules into my registration because i had failed other modules because i had actually failed other modules on the previous year so i was like trying hard you know to complete my course in time and being pregnant also did put me on a pressure it did put me so much of pressure of wanting of wanting to complete school in time so um so it was about nine to ten modules per semester same thing on the sem second semester when the first semester ended i was six months pregnant at the time so being six months pregnant obviously previously i was going through a lot of morning sickness a lot of body changes a lot of hormonal changes My, one minute i was sad another minute I was angry which is really 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 crazy so i had to study through it all i had to attend a prenatal appointments i had to stay positive through it all so it was very very hard for me to do that because this thing is like new to me man and i'm not really really used to it i still tried to push and i did pass all of my first semester modules which was a very very good thing and i'm still proud of myself even now that you know what i was able to do it i'm so 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 proud so moving on <laughs> to the second semester of my third year so second semester the belly was bigger i was getting you know more more and more of pregnancy symptoms my feet were hurting i'd get leg cramps um i remember that i got a uti after that and i got another infection that i'm still not sure of and yeah so um second semester was crazy i remember that i wanted to deregister 
and my cousin actually spoke to me and she did encourage me to to do register but to my final decision was that you know what i'm not going to do register i'm gonna try my best to pass my modules and if i fail any modules i'm gonna repeat them the following year which i'm okay with so at on august 2021 was when i had to give birth to my son because i was nine months pregnant by that time so prior to that i had assignments still i had tests i failed tests like a lot of them and i couldn't even write some of them because we were not allowed to write online I had to write on campus and i couldn't go to campus because i'm from durban and my campus is in pe so i couldn't travel at nine months you're not allowed to travel by that time so it's a lot of info guys so after that yeah um i gave birth and i was now going through postpartum so when i gave birth i did a c-section i did a cesarean birth so i was in so much of pain guys i was not coping with postpartum having a baby having to study so i really felt behind with school i really really did fall behind and somehow i still did pass a lot of my modules but now i failed some so i failed excuse me i failed modules like accounting which is one of the modules that needs you to concentrate and put time into it which is something that I, I unfortunately do not have so i failed it like that and then another thing was that um my home situation was also not allowing i had to take care of the baby day and night i mean i did get some hope some help nana from home but my mom is working my boyfriend is working my aunts are working so it's just me and baby for now so came october where i was literally forced to go back to campus because i had to write some of my tests on campus and i had already slightly recovered from c-section but i remember that when i was traveling back from durban to pe my c-section scar was very very painful because i couldn't sit for too long and i had to sit on that bus so it was very very painful you know i regretted every point of my life going through that and i arrived and i actually arrived on campus so now i'm just trying to catch up with everything and i feel like it was too late for some of the modules because you have to keep up with the module from the beginning to the end you can't just catch up just because it's, it's an exam now so for accounting i failed my first test i failed my second test and then when it came to the exam i actually knew what what, what was going to happen i knew that i was going to fail and i had to come back this year which is 2022 to complete it so it was very hard to keep up with all of that drama all of that craziness so for the modules that i did not write while i was at home because for some modules you were no longer allowed to write online you had to come to campus my lectures i told them about my situation i told them that i gave birth i can't come back to campus right now it's still too early for me to even travel so they were like okay it's fine you're gonna write in january so after that i did pass most of my modules in january you know i i did so well and i'm just like <laughs> so what i'm really glad of right now is that i was able to pass most of my modules and i only failed like very very few and i still have my funding i still have my residence i still have a chance to complete 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 my degree so i'm still proud i'm still happy that i did not i did not do register because i had to if i did register guys i would i would have to like reapply to university and i would have to like reapply for nsfas or i had to appeal for nsfas which is a process that i do not like because they could have declined my application for absolute no reason so i'm just glad that i did not do that so if you're pregnant right now and you have to study please try your best to like push to it please know that you can actually do this you might do better than me and pass all your modules 
or you might even fail some but knowing that you did try your best is what you need right now so i wish you guys all the best in life i wish you to pro to prosper i wish you to succeed i'm sharing this because i want to encourage you that it's not the end of the world like really there's so much of chances in life and yeah if you haven't gone through this i'm sure you already know how bad it is as i'm telling the story so protect yourself protect your loved ones share some love and yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope it was educational i hope it was encouraging enough to you guys let me know down below of what you think of my video where i should improve where i should change and yeah i'm gonna see you guys on another